Welcome back to the channel. Have you ever tried to have a shop that is basically just a brochure or what you would call a catalog? Now in most cases when you install your WooCommerce it comes with the option for you to install and have products, have the prices so that you're able to add to cart, view the cart and then of course proceed to pay and then you can always check out by payments. Now in some cases you don't want to have that whole shabang, you just want to be able to see the product, see a price to it and not sure to cut because you want your customers to come to your actual shop. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to make a catalog or a brochure kind of website. Let's jump into that. Now there are two ways of doing this, one is by using very few lines of code to make sure that your website is running well and the other is by using a plugin. So I'm going to show you both ways but I'm going to start one that shows you with the coding. If you want to jump straight into the plugin it's okay you can click in the description you'll be able to see the link that takes you straight to the plugin or you can look in the chapter markers to do that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to disable this add to cut button and when we come to the individual pieces we'll still remove the add to cut button from here so that someone is just able to see these items and then they'll be able to see this as a brochure. Now let's jump into the code. Of course I'm going to open a new plugin in here so that it will allow me to add my code and I can always turn it on, on and off by just clicking the activate and deactivate button. We're going to call this plugin TechiePress Catalog and I'll drag this and drop it in my editor. And then of course I'll open my first file which I'll call the TechiePress catalog.php and then hit enter and we'll get the new file and first thing we'll do is we'll open up our PHP tags to write our file and then I'm going to use my simple start plugin shortcut to help me to get all these details in for our plugin. So I'll add the name which is TechiePress catalog, I'll put in the URLs that are going to go to the GitHub location of this plugin and then I'll add in my name, of course give it a version and then of course license it under GPL2 or later. Now of course I'll use TechiePress catalog as the prefix or the text domain in here and I'll save this. And on saving this I'll go back to the admin and refresh and you'll see that we now have TechiePress catalog right here. I'll activate this plugin and of course it will do nothing in here because there is no code running at the end of the day and if I reload my pages here or my shop you'll see that we still have everything as it was before. Now I'll go back to the code here and add some little security by saying we're going to find out if our abs path is actually defined. So abs path in here if it's not defined we're going to just die. Now this will allow us to add basic security to keep hackers away from using this file unless this file is running from the plugin section itself. So after doing that simple security check we're going to remove the simple add to cut button first and we're going to use code to do that. First thing we'll do is add an action to our WooCommerce and this is going to tap into one particular hook of WooCommerce which is WooCommerce after shop loop item title. So that's what we're going to look for and we're going to pass in our own function which I'll call take a press, remove price, I'm going to call it remove price of cut button. So this is going to help us remove the price and also the button inside our WooCommerce. So I'll copy this function here and then I'll write this function by copying the name and pasting it there Then I'll say whatever we need here is going to happen in here. When we reload nothing is yet happening because we've not done anything to our shop yet. So I'll come back in here and I'm going to say we'll need to pass in the global and we're going to look for the product which is an object that's passed by WooCommerce generally and then what we're going to do here is we're going to say remove action 
and this remove action is a counter action of having to add an action in your WordPress. So we're going to remove action, and the, what we're going to look for is this very hook that we have here. So I'm just going to copy this and say I'm going to remove the action of the WooCommerce after shop loop item, and if I want to remove the price or I want to remove the button, I need to use the WooCommerce templates, and I'm going to look for the loop and then price. Now once I do this, I'm going to give it a priority of 10, and let's save this, let's go and see what's happening. So I'll come back here to my shop, I'll reload, you'll see that the pricing disappears all over our shop and we do not have any pricing showing up here. Now if we want to remove the add to cut button that we do have down here, simply we'll need to duplicate this remove action, and we're going to tap into WooCommerce after shop item, I'm going to remove the word title here, and what we're going to do here is we're going to look for the WooCommerce template loop, and we're going to change this word price, and we're going to talk about the add to cart, and that's going to look for the add to cart button that is passed in the loop, and this is usually a template inside our WooCommerce. So I'll save this, come back here, reload, and you're going to see that we no longer have the add to cart button showing up inside our particular shop. So I think we are on the right track, now let me go check out these individual items. Now you'll see these individual items have the add to cart button, they also have the pricing here, which we don't need, so we just want someone to be able to continue reading the different content, the descriptions, want them to see the reviews and so on, but we don't want them to be able to add this to the cart, we want them to still come to our shop. Now that requires us to add another function or right in here, so I'm going to go to add action, and in this add action we're going to look for one particular hook, and that hook is simply WooCommerce single product summary. I'm going to copy this, add a comma here and paste it, now I'm going to just modify this so that we don't have a clash in our particular functions by adding take a press single, so that we know we are now working on the single or the individual item, so whenever we click on something, we are working with the single template. Now after I'll copy this function here, come down and I'll say function, of course give its name, and then I'll use the brackets to open up our function right here, we're going to do what we previously did, and that is remove action in here, and we're simply going to use this WooCommerce single product summary, so I'll copy this whole string here, paste it in here, add a comma, and we are going to be looking for the WooCommerce, we need to add the WooCommerce, then we're going to add the word template, and after writing template we're going to add the word single because we're working with the single, and we're going to choose price. So you will see in here where we had the generic shop, we used WooCommerce template loop price, but when we are working with a single, we're going to use the WooCommerce template single price. But before we save that, I'm going to give this a priority of 10, and I'm going to make sure this fires off really early, and I'll give it a priority of 1. I'll come back to our shop and reload, and you'll see that we have our pricing, disappearing from this point right here. Now I'm going to go back into our code, and I'm going to duplicate this, and we're going to use the product single summary right here, and what we are looking for here is going to be instead of the single price, we're going to look for the single add to cut here, and I'll change this to a priority of 30, because it fires off a little bit later, I'll save this, I'll come back in here, and then I'll reload, and you'll see that we don't have the add to cut button showing up here. Now of course catalogs have prices, or they have the image showing, but they never have, like you don't have that button to click to buy now, you think of it like a magazine, 
you have the price, you have the item, or you don't have the price sometimes, but that's the way catalogs work, that's the way brochures work. Now what I'm going to do is just allow my pricing to continue working, so I will remove these particular actions that are removing the price, so that we can be able to continue seeing the price, and then allow our customers to come to the shop, and then they'll be able to make the purchase when they arrive to our physical shop. Now this is one way of handling it, and that is by using a few lines of code. Another way of doing this is by going back inside our WooCommerce, we're going to go into our plugins and we're going to add a particular plugin, so we'll click on add new, in our plugin section we're going to look for the Yith WooCommerce catalog mod, and you'll see this plugin that shows up here, I'll click install on it, and if I look at the details, you'll be able to see the screenshots of what's going to happen in the settings and what you're going to have at the end of the installment, so I'll click this installment, and then I'll click to activate this, and I'm going to deactivate the catalog, the TechiePress catalog, so that we have everything working out well. So for now if I reload you see you have the price and the add to cart button, and I'm just going to go to the settings of the catalog mode and I'll say for the administrators please turn off that button, disable the shop, meaning you won't have a cart page, you won't have a checkout page, we will not have the add to cart buttons inside the shop, and we shall also have to hide the product variations add to cart button here, so I'll click save settings, and then when I come in here and click reload, you'll see that the pricing is still showing up, but we don't have the add to cart button, and when I click on any of the items, there is no add to cart button. I want you to do this for me in the comment section, let me know which one of these methods you prefer, do you want to make your own custom plugin, or do you prefer to use the one that Heath already provides for you? I know it has quite a number of files in it, if you open this plugin section you have all these different files just to do that one thing, uh, or do you prefer to use the custom code that we've made on our own, and even check out the pricing. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel if you find value in the videos that are always put up here, and also in the description you can find out how you can support the channel, and keep me going through. Otherwise, thank you for watching and enjoy your day!